What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paint Society, the channel where the learning doesn't stop when the video ends. Let me tell you, I just got this in the mail and I had to try these guns out. Eastwood, I love them because they put out guns for the do-it-yourselfer and that is what we are going to test today. They got two brand new guns, a primer gun and then they got their sealer, base and clear. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's unbox them. Okay, so we got both of the guns here and uh, what they have developed is an actual primer gun. Now, primer gun is so important because if you don't have a smooth, nice coat of primer, you're gonna spend a lot more time going ahead and sanding that finish. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start with the P500 right here. And this is our new line they just put out, so I'm super excited because guys, finally the, you know, the uh, do-it-yourselfers at home can have a gun at a decent price that is not going to only last them a few times. I mean, this is actually built really well. So here's the packaging. It comes with everything you need. You can take it right out of the box and spray with it. First up, you got your regulator, so you don't have to worry about going to get one. Everything is designed to work together. So it's a nice regulator, small, so it's not gonna be really bulky on your hand and not gonna be too heavy. Okay, so in this box, we have our needle, we have our adapter, we have a different adapter, we use a PPS 2.0, and then you have a cleaning kit and the wrench. So it's very important for a primer, you wanna run around a 1.8 to a 2.0. This comes with a 2.0. You can use this for your really high build primers, which is a good thing. Then you have your cup. We're not gonna be using this because we're gonna be using the PPS system, but it is great to have your cup as well. And then we have our gun. Now take a look at this. All right, so this is the primer gun. You guys wonder why it's so important to have a good primer gun. Why can't I just get that Harbor Freight gun? Well, this is gonna last you a lot longer than that Harbor Freight gun, and it's gonna withhold to the different materials that are within the components of the gun itself. So here we have our air cap. Okay, and we can actually see that our holes are a little bit bigger for at optimal atomization of that primer. And over here, it looks like it already comes with a 1.7. Remember I was telling you 1.8, 2.0? Well, it looks like they've equipped it with a 1.7 and you have that option for a higher primer uh, build um, to use that 2.0. I'm gonna stick with the 1.7 for this particular one. Now on the setup of the gun, it has all your regular um, components. You have your air adjustment here. You have your fan up here. And I got to tell you, just holding this gun, it is very light. And when you're in the middle of a hood or in the middle of a roof, that's gonna matter a lot. The gun feels real shiny too. That's important. <laughs> when you're painting, you want a shiny gun. Yeah, that's coming from a dirty old mechanic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, so far, really impressed what Eastwood has done with this line. So, kudos to you guys. Let's go ahead, let's jump into the unboxing of the more important gun, which is gonna be a gun that can do your sealer, your base, and your clear. Now, guys, you've been waiting for an affordable option. Brian, what gun can I get that does it all? And I think we're about to uh, unbox it right now. So, this is the Concourse CC500 and it's saying that it has optimal atomization for professional results. It's lightweight, which we've already verified, and it's going to be able to operate at 9.5 CFM. So let's go ahead and let's see how it varies from that primer gun. Again, we have our air regulator. My assumption is we have the same kit, which is awesome, okay? So here we've been given the option with a 1.3, which is great. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and see what comes in the actual gun itself. So 1.3 fluid tip, that's the type of fluid tip I wanna run. It's great for most of your primer, sealers, and even clear coats. Again, we have our cup if we need it. We're running the adapter, and uh, so we won't need that right there. Now let's take a look at our gun. Here it is. Again, very lightweight. Now you can tell the difference in the gun because it's got a black air cap on it. Nice and shiny. CC500. Now if we take a look, we first notice that the actual holes on the air cap are much smaller than that of the primer gun. 
And remember, a higher end gun is going to have more of the research and development behind the gun in order to break up that paint into fine, fine droplets so you have a smoother finish. So that's what you're paying for, but still at a very affordable price, okay? Right here we have a 1.4 and what a great option. I was hoping a 1.4 would come with it instead of the 1.2 because sometimes we got those thicker clear coats and a 1.2 just won't give you enough fluid coming out of that gun. I'm gonna show you how to do a basic repair, what I think you guys should be doing at home to start off with rather than a large repair. So let's head in there and let's see how these two guns perform from Eastwood. Okay, so we're back here in a body shop, and guys, I want to keep this project small. I want you guys to kind of focus on the small projects first. Don't overwhelm yourself. Let's say you got a whole car to paint. Let's start with a bumper first. Let's learn first on something small, and let's apply that knowledge to something greater. Sometimes we can get overwhelmed by tackling a big, big project. So that's why we're doing a small project first with the Eastwood guns, and then later we'll talk a big project and see how well they perform. Now this car is a 2020 and it's gotta have a perfect finish. It's actually a pearl finish. So I'm really depending on those guns to get the job done. I do have my Eastwood um, DA Sander and I do love it. And we're gonna put 180 on here. And that 180, we're gonna feather these scratches out and then we're gonna go ahead with the prime. <laughs> So now we're gonna soften up that scratch and we're gonna to move to a 320. And I'm gonna take my 320 only in this area. And then the next step, we're gonna take 400 all around the repair. With our 400 grit, we're gonna feather all this paint nice and smoothly, scuff it up to get ready for our primer. Wipe it off with some water-based cleaner to pull out any of the contaminants or dirt within the plastic and surrounding areas. Then we use the plastic primer on the bare plastic, just mist it on, and then it is ready for primer. So we wanna blend our color into here, and we don't have a lot of room. So that's why when we have a very good primer gun, we can atomize that primer and we can contain it. If we got a cheap primer gun where we got to jack the pressure up all the way, we're going to get overspray everywhere. We're going to end up sanding that overspray off, okay? And then we can get burn throughs and that's just a big mess. So let's go ahead, let's get some test panels done. Okay, we're going to start off by running around 25 PSI. Let's see the fan pattern it has. Beautiful, beautiful pattern here liking it let's give it a little bit of some travel here we're gonna see a pattern that's small and then get bigger and bigger i don't have to control it with my fan i'm actually kind of controlling how much comes out by how much i'm using this eastwood primer gun to let out the fluid okay did you see that fan pattern now for my bumper i want to kind of be around this area if i use full throttle i'm going to have primer everywhere and all i want to do is gently lay it on okay looking good so far see how small that is that's because i'm barely letting any air out of this gun and i'm very impressed Wow, guys, I'm really impressed. I shot this around 22 to 24 PSI, and I've got to tell you, look how much containment it has. I don't have overspray anywhere. It's so important to have a good primer gun. Don't waste your money on the cheap ones because get one primer gun, it'll last you a long time, and it'll really help you out with those projects. So uh, I'm gonna throw another couple coats of primer on there. We'll check it out when it's all done. All right, fellas, and this is what we're talking about. Check out how fine those droplets are. We know that this is such a soft and smooth pattern. 
exactly what I want in a primer gun. Okay, so primer all down. We'll let this cure. We're gonna come back and sand this and let's see what that CC500 can do for sealer, base, pearl, and clear coat. Okay, so our primer is all dry. We got 400 on a soft pad. We're gonna use our guide coat to show us our lows. We're gonna go ahead and sand this area and then we're gonna scuff the rest of the bumper with 800 grit. Now we're gonna go ahead and 800 the rest of the bumper so we can prepare for our blend. Now we're gonna use our 800 grit gray scuff pad and our scuff stuff, we're gonna wet it up clean and we're gonna make sure we got all the areas we missed. All right, so we got the bumper all in the booth and we're gonna start off first with our blending agent. I like to put this over the whole bumper, kind of shows me exactly how my blend is gonna look and it'll fill in any of those micro fine scratches that we have. So we're gonna put this over the whole bumper and then we're gonna go to sealer, base and clear. All right, so we got the clear base all done and we're ready for sealer. And guys, with all the gun options on the market, it can be frustrating which gun can I get. So I finally am happy that Eastwood did put out the gun, it says it can do sealer, base, clear, and that's what we're gonna test right now. We're gonna do our sealer and then you're gonna see me use the SRA spray on the edges of the sealer just to smooth it out. So uh, let's spray some on there now. So that sealer is kind of like primer. We want to contain it. So I want to use around here. So I'm not going to push full throttle all the way back just a little bit just to get that fluid out. I want to be right about there, okay? This is going to give me the control I need on the bumper. Sealer's all flashed and it looks really good. You can see the importance of using a sealer. Now I've got my base coat. I cleaned out my gun, I got my base. And remember, in this area, this area matches the fender. So I don't wanna put any base here. So I need an atomization at a low pressure to kind of fan my base into here, keep it away from the edge. I don't care about over here. That's where the grill grows. We don't have to worry about color match there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm finding that uh, I had good success around the 25 PSI range and not full trigger, just a little bit. Just want that um, paint to come out just a little bit to get to the surface. I'm gonna do one coat and then I'm gonna step back about 12 inches and then kind of dust it on a little bit more to get a little bit more uniform. And that is it, it will be covered. And then we're gonna move on to our pearl coat. All right, so we got that one coat of base and we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna go about eight to 10 inches away and we're just gonna kind of dust it on and smooth out that transition. It's still wet, so it won't be dry when it hits the surface. Now it's time for pearl. This is my spray out card and take a look at that. At the bottom, it's base only and then one coat of pearl and then two. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using my um, gun for my first coat in this area and then my second coat I'm gonna bring out. But remember, I'm keeping it away from where it bolts up to the fender.
All right, so we're ready for the fun part, the clear coat. And now this can make or break any gun. And yeah, sure, you saw me get a good finish with that Harbor Freight gun, but I had to work really hard for it. And a lot of you do-it-yourselfers want to pick up a gun out of the box and be able to spray with ease. And so far, this Eastwood gun has proved that. So let's see how well it can spray the uh, clear coat. I'm going to pop you on the point of view perspective and uh, let's lay some slick clear coat down. with absolutely no editing involved. First coat, wow, super impressed. Check out that finish. Hardly any work to get it, God, wow. Really easy to spray, really impressed, guys. Really impressed. And just like that, we are done with our small project. Do you guys remember in the beginning of the video I said, start small, don't overwhelm yourself. If you got a big project, pick one part off that project, maybe the fender, maybe the bumper. If you mess it up, sand it down and try it again. Who cares, it's just paint. That's how we learn. The number one question I get is, Brian, what's the best $100 gun? Can I go to Walmart and get a gun? How about asking me, Brian, What's the most affordable, best gun? You say to me, oh, you're only gonna paint once or twice a year. Well, that's no good. I want you to paint more than twice a year. See, if you get a cheap gun that doesn't deliver the results or isn't easy to spray, what good is it? You're losing value in our trade. And we have one of the awesome, most awesome trade there is around. We take rusted old buckets or we take crashed up cars and we make them beautiful. And there's nothing in this world that is more rewarding than spraying paint. Trust me, because I do it every day and I love it. As for the Eastwood guns, these guys have developed a gun that works for you. What gun for this? What gun for metallic? What gun for sealer? What gun for clear coat? CC500 does it all. It's a great option. You saw me do it right here. I had no problem. And what I love about it is it's so easy to use. Right out of the box, I'm spraying Sealer, base, pearl, and clear coat with ease. Primer gun? Oh, I could just spend a $15 on a primer gun, sure. You can spend a $15 every month. And how important is it to have a smooth primer lay down on your panel? It is very important because then you're saving time. You're transferring that primer to that panel, you're getting the mills that you need. Why cheap out when you got a portable budget gun? It's right here that will do it all and do them very well. Guys, this is Brian from Paint Side reminding you, don't overthink it, it's just paint. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's check it out.